get one of those little kits. And in the middle of the debate, when she proclaims that she's of Indian heritage, because her mother said she has high cheekbones. That's her only evidence, that her mother said she had high cheekbones. We will take that little kit and say, but we have to do it gently. Because we're in the Me Too generation, so we have to be very gentle. And we will very gently take that kit and we will slowly toss it, hoping it doesn't hit her and injure her arm. Even though it only weighs probably two ounces. President Trump, as usual, having some fun at his latest rally in Montana, throwing down the challenge to the woman who could be one of his challengers in 2020, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Let's bring the panel in. Joining me now, radio talk show host, former advisor to Chuck Schumer, Chris Hahn, GOPAC chair, David Avella. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Good All evening. Right. Um, uh, thanks, Chris, Judge. you know, if, if Elizabeth Warren uh, does run, I mean, you know, her identifying herself as a Native American because she has high cheekbones. I mean, a lot of us have high cheekbones. Uh, is kind of an empty excuse for being or saying she's a minority, but then using that to gain a financial advantage with a school. That's not good. I, I think the president talking about it on stage over and over again, first of all, is the most uncivilized thing I've seen. I've heard you talk about civility. That's ridiculous what he just did at that rally the other day. As for what what she used for school, I don't know what her background is. We don't know what her family history is. And I don't think it's going to be relevant. And it also shows that the president keeps talking about her because he's threatened by her because she is a strong, intelligent woman who would be a far better president than this man was, who understands things that he can't, comp can't possibly comprehend. So keep on hitting her. All you're doing is raising her profile, and she would be a better candidate than you think. David Avella, do you think Chris is right when he says that Elizabeth Warren would be a far better president uh, than President Trump? Of course she wouldn't be, and Chris must turn down his earpiece because he hasn't listened to what Democrats have said about Republican presidents every time one gets elected, whether that be President Trump, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush, or Ronald Reagan. You hear the same old tired old rhetoric about them being racist and them being sexist and them being against women and them being against the poor, though it is, it is worth noting that if you saw uh, the survey results results this week, you now have voters saying that it's Republicans who are more for the working class and it's it's Democrats who are for the wealthy and the elite and the business uh, community. So people see through it. Uh, and more importantly than those comments about Elizabeth Warren, it's the rest of the president's message that matters, which is we're going to have secure you, you borders. Think it was appropriate? We're going to have we're going to have economic security. We're going to have personal okay. security in this country, which he started in his first term, and he's going to continue in a second term. Okay, uh, go ahead, Chris. I mean, David. I, I mean, I don't think you think it's appropriate for him to continue to call her quote Pocahontas. He didn't call her Pocahontas in that Chris, time. Come on. He didn't call her the president Pocahontas. of the She's United States. She's the one, States. Chris, who started it. Well, you know, the president of the United States continuing to poke at that it's just unprecedented. It's that uncivilized. She said she and was Native ridiculous. American and she can't prove it. What did he do? She's uh, the one who said it. I, he used it for a financial well, advantage. He, he doesn't know what she can or cannot prove, and it's not for he him to decide. It, 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 is no, it is no more absurd than the civic chaos that Maxine Waters and Tom Steyer and George Soros are all out there pushing as they try to peach impeachment. But let me say this. Chris's, yeah. team, okay. Chris's, team, Chris's team should continue to promote civic chaos because every time they've done it, 1968, yeah. Republicans won 32 let, seats. 1984, let me, let me when they pushed civic, civic chaos, chaos to we won 49 Chris, states. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris, finish, let, let me let me finish. Let, let me, and no, in, in 2004, yeah. when the, when the when the uh, code pink came out, George Bush won 31 states. So, Chris, continue pushing civic chaos. That's that will only ensure yeah. Republicans pick up David. seats in the Senate this year, and President Trump will be on his way to re-election in 2020. Go ahead, Chris. 
David, civic chaos was what happened in Charlotte, Charlottesville when a right-wing nut drove his car into a crowd and killed somebody. Civic chaos, people protesting, people standing up, people marching in the street who are agitated by the policies this president has done, that is not civic chaos, that's civic engagement, and it's good for America, and it's going to show in November. The blue wave is coming. We will both talk about it after the election, and if I'm wrong, have at me, but I will be having at you, my friend. The, the gentleman this week that had his hat taken off and, and beverage thrown on him, that's civic chaos, Chris. It may be a smaller that's worse than the woman who the wor That's worse than the woman who died in Charlottesville, yeah, right? But you know, the woman uh, who died David, in Charlottesville. And then the president said there were fine people on, on both sides there. So let's talk about civic chaos. Let's put it into some perspective. I'm sorry Alan Dershowitz got disinvited from a barbecue on Martha Vineyard, but there are people dying because of right-wing violence. You know, Dave, uh, well, uh, Chris, people, I appreciate yeah, people dying because illegal aliens are coming across the border and killing innocent no, Americans. No, no, yes. oh, they are. Yes, Chris. Great, David, you know that's not true. That is you know true. true. true, Chris. You know that is absolutely true. You know, the, you, know, you know that the crime rate, David, you're smart enough to know Chris, that the crime rate Chris, of, of, of illegal Both immigrants of you is stop. the same as it is stop among everybody right else. Now, Chris. You want to make reference to one killing? He can make reference to the number of Americans who have been killed by illegal aliens. Don't tell him no. Facts are facts. And well, on this show, the the truth is the truth. Judge, judge, here's what we know. Here's what we know. Chris didn't write the speech for his old boss, Chuck Schumer, who said in 2009 that people who come into our country without permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens shouldn't be the, oh. treated the same as people who come here legally. The only difference is Chris, yeah. Chris and his team are now for open <laughs> borders, and it started with Hillary no, Clinton when she went to Brazil. No, we're not, David. When she went See, to Brazil and lie. told a group that's of American businessmen that she Chris, was for let open him borders. Chris, let him finish. She went to Brazil and what? And she told him she was for looking forward to having open borders between the U.S. and right. South American countries. Okay, that's enough. Chris, go ahead. That is a complete lie that Chuck Schumer's for open borders he and that he doesn't it. believe that we should be, we should have a border and that we should be tough on immigration. Chris, so you want you to believe in having a process and we, and we believe that Clinton, when people, all of them wanted people, open borders and they called there them was illegal, less illegal aliens. immigration. There was less. There was less illegal immigration under Obama than there has been under what Trump. What does and that's that a fact. have to Look do with up. what we're talking okay. about? So let's let's also be very let's be very right. very clear. You're we telling believe me in we're process. out of time. We believe Chris Hahn, David Avella. No. We can continue this off the record. Goodbye. We could. Come All on. right.